That's an That's interesting. That's the longest term deal we've had today. A uh, second was Jacob Markstrom, who apparently turned down a max seven year deal for six million dollars from Edmonton, goes to Calgary, six million dollars for six years, Alex. That's the um, better choice. And I believe he is thirty years old. I uh, I believe so as well. Is it weird for me to say that Calgary is the better choice? See, I was about to just straight away say yes. And I remembered, man, McDavid and Dry <laughs> Adam, I agree. I remember what I said at the beginning of this uh, uh, three years ago, it feels like now. The same issue that, that this team has has not changed. If anything, it's going to get worse because Oscar Clefbaum's going to be out potentially for the entire season with with after having that surgery. Mike Smith, gone, and he wasn't even that good. Sorry. No, he's terrible. Enough. Sorry. Like, you haven't improved your defense. Oliver ekman Larson wouldn't come to your team. You couldn't get... Jacob Markstrom was offered an extra $6 million. Like, was you offered him six million dollars more than Calgary and he still rejected you. Tory Crude takes an, an extra year and Markstrom gives away another because he's not want to play. Don't you me. see there's an issue? There this is massive. Let's talk about the team that he actually he decided to go to here. Um and boy doesn't this add another layer to the Battle of Alberta. Um six years is a lot, yes. Um, yeah but it is free agency. And if anyone, if anyone had a question about the top guys still getting paid, well, there's your answer. No, um, they will not be affected. But Calgary get the best goalie since they've, you know, since Mika Kiprasov. <laughs> I heard today and I was like, oh, that's a name I haven't heard for a while because he played when I was a kid. Before, I have a, que- I have a question for you because I've been thinking about this ever since I saw I did shave my mustaches filling in, Alex. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> What's your question? I forgot it. <laughs> I actually forgot the question. I mean, what marks him? Elite goalie. Woo! Him and Big Save Dave. You love to see it. It'll come back to me. Good God. That was sorry. I don't know what happened there. Um, do you think. Oh, here it is. Do you think the Robin Leonard deal? changed what Markstrom's market was because I think, and, and I don't know if you would agree with me, I think Mark, uh, Robin Leonard was worth more than $5 million a year. Oh, yeah. Right? Especially what he did in the playoffs. He was great. Do you think that what do you think Markstrom's market was affected by him signing that deal? Because I do. I mean, he still got $6 million per. I mean, I don't think he was ever going to get seven, but like when I was, I, I thought he'd get like, I didn't think he'd get six times six. I think it, it could have been if Edmonton didn't, Edmonton didn't come in and say, hi there, I'll give you whatever you want. Hi. Yeah. Like Edmonton ruined it. I, I can't believe, like, you know what I'd be really interested in, in, in finding out? And I, I don't think we're ever going to hear about this unless these guys go on spin chicklets once they retire. What is the thought process on not wanting to play, like not going to a market that has Leon Dreisaitl and Connor McDavid and knowing that if both OEL and Markstrom signed or were put into Edmonton, how much better would make that team? Oh, they could, even if you don't the supporting cast, that core, you're, I'd say, okay, all right. You like, probably win the cup. Why don't you want to sign there? Like, I, I really want to know because it's going to feel my ego. I mean, Sweden, people go skiing in Sweden, right? They're used to the cold. But Adam, they offered they're him an extra. I sure know, but they, they offered him an extra. Nice. S- they offered him an extra $6 million. And he still said no. And said, no, I'm going to move down the street to Calgary in, in think, Markstrom's case. You think McDavid, who will say this one more time, hope you're doing well because he has uh, he got you know tested of course. COVID. How do you think he feels when he's at home? He's not probably feeling that well, you know, because uh, you, your team didn't make the playoffs again. And like, 
you see within a few days, like you couldn't bring this defenseman in and this goalie has just gone to your biggest rival. That's got to, he's got to be, we're talking about Eichel wanting out. I mean, the Oilers still aren't taking any steps forward. I call Ken Holland if I make David and say, what the bleep is going on? Where is my help? Kyle Turris, like, you know what? If they're smart, they try Yessi Pugliarvi with Connor McDavid because at the moment, that's the only help they have. Sorry we made that about Edmonton, Calgary, but I mean, it's just... That's a... You got your goalie. I think uh, Calgary and Edmonton saved Vancouver from signing a poor deal because it would have screwed them over. It would have screwed them over.